Today we're talking to St Albans City Manager Ian Anderson at Clarence Park where the Saints have gone down to what well, can only be described as a shock 3-0 defeat in National League South to bottom of the table Whitehawk, who are no longer bottom of the table. You see at the bottom now is Bogner Ages Town, we got them on Tuesday. This result, Ian, it is a big shock, it is a big surprise, especially as the first 15 minutes or so, we started really well. We looked full of, well, we looked as though our goal was going to come at any time. It didn't come, and then we put in one of the worst performances we've seen during your time here, I think. Um, uh, it's funny how you should say that, because I actually said that in the change room just now. I actually think, we, I know we got beat at Gloucester, um, uh, Gosport last year, 4-0. I actually felt we had more of a go at Gloucester than we did today, so you probably summed up exactly how I'm feeling at the right this moment. Is that that was one of our worst performances? Um, it's, dif it's difficult because the second goal I felt took a little bit of sting out. I thought we started the second half really well, but I think that's sort of the last four or five games. I was just speaking to you there, and Dean's made important saves in all those last four games to keep us in the game. And we've eventually got a goal, and it's given us a lift. Today we had two good opportunities in the start of the second half. We didn't we didn't pick the right person out in the box, and then we've started to chase the game, and we've been caught out over over playing in wrong areas. And uh, to be fair to them, they punished us massively. Um, and the three could have quite have been four or five in the end, um, and they got exactly what they deserved. They deserved the three points. We were second best all over the park for, for long periods of that game. Um, after the first 15, 20 minutes, which was really bright, we had two or three really good opportunities to to get in front. And we spoke at length probably over the last sort of seven, eight games about its importance of getting in front in these in these games because when we do that, we're a good side and we we we, we maintain the the impetus in terms of keeping the ball and passing it and and causing the other teams problems. But at the moment, we're shooting ourselves in the foot by giving away sloppy goals. I felt Dean could have done better with the first goal. He's palmed it straight back into the the, the path of the eleven when it was going miles wide. But again, information, talking, enthusiasm, everything that we needed today wasn't there and it's just really disappointing tonight to sit here and, uh, and see that performance because it was poor. The longer that first half went on, the more pedestrian we looked and Whitehall had a very nice goal disallowed five minutes before the break and even that didn't kick us into thinking we've got to do something about this. And three minutes later we were a goal down and as you say we started the second half reason well but the fight was, was no, passion We, we were actually calling for half time because I felt we needed to get them in uh, at half time when they did score the goal because I just felt that we'd, we'd lost our way a little bit and, and they were starting to get stronger and stronger and stronger they felt their way into the game better than us. Um, and they were brighter than us um, going into that last sort of 10-15 minutes and they looked like they were going to score more than what we did and I just didn't think we moved the ball quick enough, we didn't, we didn't support quick enough, we didn't get out of the, of the starting blocks after that first 15-20 minutes and, and as I say we got exactly what we deserved, we had our backside smacked today. Um, I think we've got to realise um, in terms of, it's a tough, tough league. Um, and when you look at Whitehorse record since Christmas, where they've only lost two games to, to Dartford and Chippenham, and we spoke about it at length before the game, that we're probably playing one of the better sides in this league. Steve's, Steve's built a great side there. You've seen today they've got some big players who have been around the league. They've all played a good standard. Um, and you can only warn them enough to say that, you know, this isn't the Whitehawk side that we faced back in October, who were struggling with four points before Christmas. This is a Whitehawk side that's trying to fight a relegation battle. Um, and if you don't take it seriously enough in terms of the way we have to apply ourselves and uh, the application that has to be to be added to our performance and then we have to move the ball quick, we have to move the ball around and we have to drive at them, we have to get bodies in the box and when the opportunities come along we have to take them and we've done none of that today and we didn't take on, on the uh, information that we give them and it's, and it's quite a worry because um, as I say, if people aren't going to listen at this stage of the season, we're in a, a serious situation where you know, we, we, we'll just undo all the good work that we've done. And I spoke to him at that in, in, in length in there for sort of 15, 20 minutes after the game. Because information now has to be taken on board. We have five very, very tough games to go. Um, and information has to be taken on very, very quickly. And people have got to listen to the information because, as I say, we can only warn them enough about how good Whitehawk we're going to be today. You don't go and draw nil nil with, with Haven't. I mean, it would be a poor side. Uh, and I think some people, and we warned them about, don't look at the league tables, all the cliches that are around there, uh, but you can only do so much and players have to take the information on board and some of our players today haven't taken that on board, which is disappointing. And we probably had six or seven statues out there today and they were probably moving around quicker than some of our players in statues. So disappointing today, really disappointing. As you say, the side Steve King's got now, that's not really a relegation side. It's not going to save them, it's probably too late for that. And on Tuesday, though, we are going to need to, a slight change of mental attitude against Bogner. 
probably in an even worse position than Whitehall, even if they beat us Tuesday, Brogner, they're going to go down. Well, you've got to look at it. At the moment, Brogner probably accepted they're going to go down, so they're going to be quite relaxed in their performance. They're going to pass the ball like we know they're going to do, and they're going to enjoy themselves the last five or six games. So, you know, we've got to, we've got to get today's game out of our system as quick as we can and, and, and take on board the information that we'll give them before the game. But the first thing you need to do, David, is you need to work hard in football. Um, it's like anything you do in life. To get your rewards out of life, you have to work extremely hard. And I certainly know how hard I had to work to do what I did in, in my time in football. Um, and it wasn't easy and there was a lot of lows in terms of getting to where I got, but I had to keep working harder and harder and harder. And in the end, I got the rewards by working extremely hard. And some of these players have to realise that you know they're playing at this level now because they didn't do it enough in terms of the pro game when they were at the pro cl clubs, and that's why they've ended up at St Albans. So, if they don't grasp it now and realise that you're, when you're fourth in the table, that every team you come up against will want to beat you, every team you play against will want to work harder than you, and they'll want to make sure that their performance is better than yours. And if you don't get to that level before the start of the game and realise what you have to do, and not just turn up and expect to switch a switch that's going to make you go out there and play better than the opposition, is that we're in major problems because these players have now got to grasp that every team we play against for the next five games will want to beat us. They'll want to work harder than us. Every individual battle will have to be have to be won. And if we don't do that, we'll, we'll just go by the by and the season will just drift away. And I'm not certainly going to sit around and see the season drift away. These players don't want to waste the amount of commitment, the time, the effort, the time they've turned up for training, the time they've turned up for games, the amount of travelling they've had to do to away games, the amount of time they've had to come in and travel around the M25 to get in for training on horrible, cold, wet, snowy nights and give it all up with five games to go because that for me today was a performance that, that it was the end of the season. We were a team. For me, you could have switched it around today and they were the team in the fourth and we were the team bottom of the table because that's what it felt like to me. And to come off there and see that performance and, and have no pride and no passion about our performance. And, you know, I see a couple of their players just really getting on top of some of our players mentally and our players swallowed it today. And I just said to him in there as a player, I would never have accepted that. I'd have wanted to go and score a goal. I'd have wanted to win today's game. I wanted to be better than the opposition that I was playing against. And today I didn't see that. We had too many today that accepted second best. And, that, and that's a worry. Um, because certainly going into Saturday's or Tuesday's game, I've got to look at the bench we've got there because I know with some players there, they're going to, you know, even if they just go and run around and work extremely hard, they'll give me more than what some of these players are giving me today. And you know, I've got to look at our team and some of the shape and things we do. But players need to come to the table because today wasn't good enough. And as the manager, I'll take it. it I'll take exception in terms of having to take responsibility for that performance today, but some of them players have let me down today. They've let the club down today. And they've let the supporters down today. And I've not. I've not come for some of the players all season. I've actually protected them and, and, and been part of what we've been trying to do. But for the day, that wasn't good enough. And I have to take full responsibility for it. And they need to improve going into Tuesday's game. We're talking of a bench here. And you put Antonio German on as a forward. Hasn't scored for the club yet. But you didn't feel inclined to put Charlie Walker or Harvey Bradbury on. Uh, you didn't get that desperate, if you like, just to chuck on as many forwards as you could. Well, we could have done, but I just felt defensively, David, was all over the shop. Um, every time we attacked, they looked like they were going to score against us. So the one thing, you know, we've worked extremely hard and we nearly undone it all today is the goal, the goals against Column. Um, at the moment, it's, it's keeping us in certain areas, but we've also got to be aware that we didn't want to con con see too many goals and get beat quite heavily where the goals difference can cause us losing one or two places going into the final few games of the season. So we also had that. We could have thrown an extra body on, but I think the way we were playing at the end of the day, we, we didn't really get to grips with, with what we were doing today and how we did it. So if we'd have had three or four forwards on there, it would have been exactly the same. But as I say, I've got to, I've got to take stock now where we are. I've got to look at some of the performances we've had over the last few weeks. It's OK, you know, when we're on top and we're winning games of football, everyone, you know, it doesn't doesn't take away from some of the, the failings that we've probably had over the last five or six games, which is a worry. And we, we have spoke about it at length in, in terms of certain stages of certain games. We, we could have been out of it. and We've been a bit fortunate in the last three or four games to stay in the game. Show great character, tremendous character to come back in all of those games and pick results up. But we've got to stop, stop giving and gifting teams goals. We've got to start having a clean sheet on a weekly basis. And we've got to make sure that if we're going to go and win games of football, we work harder than the opposition because... As I say, I'll keep saying it, we haven't done that today and we got what we, what we deserved with our backside smacked. The good news is, we've just five games to go. We're still five points clear of the eighth place club, so we're still well entrenched in the playoff position. 
But maybe that little cushion played on the player's mind and that made them a little bit complacent. Well, I hope not. And as I say, I've tried to keep the pressure off the players. Maybe I need to go and put pressure on them now. Uh, maybe I need to go and test them. And maybe I need to go and, uh, and, and put pressure on them and just make sure that you know, they understand how serious this is now. Because this is a serious stage of the season. Um, the worry is that if we put too much pressure on them, will they fold? But you know, after what I've seen today, we folded anyway. So um, you know, we've tried to make it quite relaxed. We've tried to make it a bit of fun. I mean, even on training on Thursday, we finished, and the players wanted to do an extra session in terms of you know of, of, of a keep ball session, which is great. Enthusiastic. Everybody wanted the ball. Everybody looked lively. Everybody was enthusiastic. Totally different to what I see today. And. Uh, you know, some of our passing today, some of our movement today, some of the way we got very, very static on the ball, with the ball, and when we never had the ball, and we didn't work hard enough, as I say, and uh, every time they sort of counter-attacked us today, they, 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 they caused us major problems. But we were forcing full-backs on, which we don't want to do at times. Tom Bender got caught out for two goals in the second half, and as I say, Dean's thrown a goal in for the first one again, which is disappointing, because if we had come in at 0-0, it might have been a slightly different game. I and mean, if we could have got a goal just after half-time, we might just give us a lift that we needed. But today we didn't get that important goal, which is to give us a lift over the last four games. And uh, we have to learn from that. Um, as I say, we need, to, we need to, to, to really start being a bit more professional, I feel, than what we've been today, because, as I say, that, that just wasn't good enough. And it's disappointing me tonight, because I'm really disappointed in terms of you know, it was the manner of the way we got beat today. I can always accept losing, and, and, and as I said to the players before the game, and I said it to, to some of the staff before the game, this is a tough, tough game today. Don't look at the league table. Don't look at anything that you're doing there. Steve King and White Walker are a very good side, and they'll take points off teams for the rest of the season, which is good, because they've got some big teams against some of the teams that we've got to, are in there with us. So it's important to know that they're still fighting for their lives. But we have to, we have to make sure that we're fighting for our lives as well, because by turning up and thinking you're just going to turn up and win a game of football, you're going to get your backside smacked. And we did that today. And we've got to go and fight for our lives now in the next five games because we've got some really tough games coming up. Well, yeah, we've got three successive away games in ten days. And ideally two wins in there would put us in a good position still. Yeah, it would be. Um, but we've got to make sure we get to night today's performance out of our system. Um, and as I say, if we turn up like we've done today in the next five games, we won't win another game. And that's, that's the worry. Um, you know, we need to be better than what we've been today, and we need to be brighter than what we've been today. Um, and as I say, some of the players that have been like statues out there today need to come to the table because you can't just turn up when you want to turn up. And some of the players have been excellent all season. As I've said, I'll back these players. You know, I've backed that change them all season. I've said how good they are, but today I just felt we just we just let the club down today in terms of the performance. In terms of the level of performance from some of the players, it just wasn't good enough. It wasn't acceptable from my point of view and obviously from the club's point of view. So it's the first time I've had a real pop in the media against them, but something maybe it might be I put them under pressure now, we might get a reaction. Um, and some players might start coming to the table a bit more because, as I said, I keep doing it, I keep saying it, it's, it's just not been good enough today. Well, thanks so much, Ian. So the race for the playoff places in National League itself, it really is. Very interesting, lots of clubs still in there because teams keep slipping up. We get a chance to bounce back to winning ways on Tuesday night. We go down to Nywood Lane, home of Bogner Regis Town, their bottom of the table. Kick-off is at 7.45pm.